All right, so if you guys have been following along with my um, late Radio 2 Express LRS videos, uh, you know that I recently did an upgrade of the uh, E-Sheen Light Radio 2, and um, that was the first gen with the micro USB ports. See the previous video link in the description if you want to check out that upgrade. So if you want to do the firmware upgrade for this, as well as for any firmware upgrades on the um, pre-built uh, Express LRS Light Radio 2, then this is the video for you. So the configurator, you need this thing called the Beta FPV Configurator, which is kind of like the Beta Flight Configurator, but for these Beta FPV products. Got to go to the Light Radio 2 SC product page at the betafpv.com website. Scroll down. And it is right here under Beta FPV Configurator. Go ahead and uh, open up a tab onto this. And they're currently on release uh, 1.0.0. Of course, uh, if you're watching this video later, uh, that might be updated. So you want to go ahead and download Beta FPV Configurator. Uh, this one here for Windows and then Mac OS for Mac if you have a Mac. I've got Windows, so I'll be downloading that. So your browser might give you a warning uh, about it not being a safe file. Just hit keep and not delete. And another warning. Keep anyway. And it should show up in your downloads folder. Go ahead and double click that and run the program to install it. Again, you'll get another warning. It's another false positive. Hit run anyway. and go through the normal installation process. Okay, so we want to make sure that we run the Beta FPV Configurator as administrator. Okay, so just a little background on this uh, Beta FPV Configurator that's actually something to be used for flashing certain flight controllers. I think they, they have a certain set of flight controllers here for their light silverware firmware. Uh, includes like the brushed FCV3, the Cetus FPV, and the Cetus Pro FPV. I'm not covering that in this video. If you want to do that, then you have to click this button here. It says click to active, it should be activate configurator for FC board, which is what it says here, below this section here. We're not going to be doing that, so don't click that doing the radio transmitter stuff here. And so what you want to do here is click the firmware flasher tab over here on the left. And you can see here there's instructions right here in the section that says firmware update steps. We're going to be following this uh, pretty much to the letter. So the radio should be off. It says hold the setup button and power on. So the LED ring will be solid blue. This is before you plug it into the computer. I do not have the USB plugged in. So it's a press and hold in the setup button and power on. Press and hold the power button. We get the three quick tones instead of the, sh the three long tones. And we have a solid blue LED ring. So it basically puts it into uh, like a DFU mode. So it's ready for flashing. And then this third step says here if you have any driver problems or you need the STM32 drivers, you need to install that, of course. Um, this is uh, similar to uh, Beta Flight Configurator. You need the correct drivers, of course, and uh, you know that all applies as well. I'm going to go ahead and then plug in the uh, USB port or USB cable now. And it should go ahead and set up that device. Okay. And it recognizes it on my computer as COM43. It might be different on yours. And the correct COM port is selected here. We want to go ahead and load in the firmware for the radio we want to flash. Okay, so if you're having a problem where you can't load the firmware online, sometimes this is due to network error or whatever, um, it doesn't show up here. You, have, you can't use the load firmware online button, you have to use the load firmware local button. So you have to go back to the releases page where you got the configurator and it says right here, if you cannot load the firmware remotely, you can get it here. So uh, I have the Light Radio 2 SCV2. Uh, this is what I'm going to be loading here. So I'm going to download that. And that is in the downloads folder now. Go back to the configurator. We're going to hit load 
firmware local. And go to the downloads folder and load up that firmware. Okay, so at this point we're at this step here where um, you can select the correct COM port and click the connect button here. So I connect. Now we're connected to the radio and hit the flash firmware. Okay, now it's flashing. Okay, so it should be all uh, flash at this point. You can go ahead and turn off the radio and unplug the USB port and USB cable. Okay, so once the uh, flashing is done, we can go back to the welcome page and then we can just plug in the USB cable into the radio with the power off. And then we can hit the connect RC button and it should connect to the system here and just some information on the radio, the firmware version. You can switch the mode here if you want. Uh, internal RF is defaulted on. There, I think this external RF module is for the next version of the light radio, light radio 3, which is not out yet. You can adjust your protocol settings here for Express LRS uh, power settings, so 25, 50, 100, packet rate 50 to 500 hertz. You can have the telemetry rate set up here, the telemetry, I guess the data packet rate set here, so I usually just have it off. I don't know if it, if it's going to be any uh, of use to have it on because there's no screen or anything like that to collect that telemetry data. You can enable the bind phrase here. And I'm going to go ahead and stick my bind phrase here because I don't like using I don't like using the normal binding setup. So I just put in my bind phrase here. So the next time I connect to any receiver that's already got my bind phrase in it, it just automatically connects. No binding needed. You can see here that the um, Express LRS UID for SBI receivers changes once you go into this field. So now this will, it won't update until you actually tab into this field here. So now it's been updated. But this is what you want to put into your CLI for those um, like whoop flight controllers and our, the SPI uh, receivers that have the, basically you have to basically change the settings for the Express LRS in the CLI. So you got to put in this command in here, set Express LRS underscore UAD equals and whatever value you have for your bind phrase, hit enter. Hit type save, hit enter, and then I'll save it, and then that then that uh, receiver will will bind to this transmitter automatically on the next power up. If you go, fur go further down here, you can you can adjust your mixes, you can uh, see how good your calibration is. So of course you know if you uh, want to probably recalibrate the radio after you flash the firmware, uh, that's the same as on the um, late radio 2 SC SB4. That that procedure hasn't changed. And then here you can uh, reverse certain channels if you want, uh, for example, or you can switch the channel order. So if you want the switches to be in a different order, so let's say like I want channel 5 to be SA, uh, channel 6 to be SB, uh, uh, channel 7 to be SC, channel 8 to be SD. So I'm just basically reversing the switches and I'm going to reverse all of the switch positions for the default. do that and then go ahead and save and reboot and the settings should be saved and that's pretty much it to get this thing going so yeah um, I'll have another video later on S the SPI receiver stuff I know that's kind of confusing for some of you guys so uh, if you have any questions about that let me know in the comments and I'll try and address those for the next video okay that's gonna do it for this one talk to you later